Hey guys, it's me. Um, thanks for joining me for Coffee Date this week. Man, what a long week it's been this week. I don't know about you, but it is hot in Southern California. And I know that it's probably way hotter in some other places than it is here. But y'all, it's gotten up to like 90 and that is hot for Southern California. And um, I don't know about you, but when it is hot, it is really hard for me to motivate myself <laughs> and want to do anything besides turn on my turn down my AC to like 62 degrees get under the covers and hibernate until the heat is gone it's been even harder to make it through workout today I'm pretty sure somewhere between the combination of throwing up and crying I made it through workout today but I mean by the skin of my teeth it was yes had it. I was just so hard. It was so hot out today and it was just so hard to push myself and I was trying to get through it because tomorrow is measure day or I guess I should say today. I'm filming this on Thursday but you know Friday's ah, it's the end of the month so it's measure day so it just feels like you're trying to put that extra time and energy and effort in and you just really don't want to. If we were having coffee, I would tell you that this has just been one of those weeks that I would like to erase and uh, maybe start over again. Do you ever have weeks like that? I just feel like I've been so stressed out with work and it's, I, I guess the best way to say it is this week has been one of those weeks where I feel so extremely blessed for everything I have. I look at all the friendships and that I have and the laughter that's in my life and um, my amazing husband and the, my kids and I'm just but at the same time I just wish that I could like take a vacation free of the computer the cell phone and responsibilities for a week and just sleep and relax of course I probably might go through some anxiety if I didn't have Instagram but I'm sure I would get over it I think my point is is that I'm just in spite of it all just I could just use a break from responsibility <laughs> Um, I'm going to break from the responsibility of running a company and making sure that everybody's happy and, but at the same time, I just feel so extremely blessed to do what I do and to work alongside my husband, who's incredible and he probably needs a break too. So he and I should just go on that vacation together. <laughs> um, so I'm just really looking forward to shutting down for the Labor Day weekend uh, spending some time in the sun with our family and just relaxing, sleeping in, and gearing up for back to school next week. So crazy. So, um, so, so that I'm not a complete Debbie Downer, I probably should ask you how you're doing. Have you tried the pumpkin spice latte yet? It's bad. Get Starbucks. I'm so excited. In fact, I think that now that I've had a few of these today, that I may reward myself by sneaking down to Starbucks and get myself a frappuccino. Or maybe I'll wait until tomorrow after I get measured, and that will be my reward for any inches that I've lost. I will just go to Starbucks and get a fully fattened pumpkin spice frappuccino with that delicious whipped cream that Starbucks has on top. Anyways, how's your week been? Has it been much cooler than it's been here? Are you dying of the heat like I am? I don't even, I don't, I literally don't even want to like get in the shower because who takes a cold shower? It's not fun to take a cold shower, but it's not hot. It's not fun to take a hot shower when you get out and you feel like you're sweating just as bad as you were when you got in. Reminds me of when I lived in Malaysia and I would have to do PE and I, always got stuck with PE after lunch. So it was like the hottest part of the day. And then we had to go run around in the heat. And then we had to come in and shower and put our uniform back on and like throw ourselves together to be ready to be back to class. And we only had like 15 minutes to do it. So you're like sweating as you go in the shower and you're sweating as you go out of the shower. Yeah. Anyways, enough ranting on that. But I hope you're having a great week. I hope that you have a fantastic Labor Day weekend. And any tips that you have for me on, um, you know, first time kindergarten parents, I will take all the advice and encouragement, prayer support, um, 
chocolate bars, Starbucks gift cards you can send me because we are about to engage on a rough year. And maybe it won't be a rough year. Maybe it'll be a great year, but it's definitely going to be an adventure. So I hope you guys all have a great week. I have now talked way too long. I was just going to pop by for a short video as usual. I'm So I will chat with you guys later. Bye.